So, Avatar. This first, uh, first I'm going to do a completely spoiler-free review for anybody who's still on the fence about watching it. And, um, I guess I should start by saying I did not watch this in 3D. Um, that would, um, I think there's a bit of a train ride involved before I could watch anything in 3D, um, because of where I live, so did not make that. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I'm not really a fan of adventure films, so I watched this because it's James Cameron. I've watched everything he's done, like, um, full movie cinema. I mean, I didn't watch whoa, Ghosts of the Abyss and that stuff, and I haven't watched any of his TV stuff, but save for Titanic, I know I will get to it, and that Piranhas 2 movie, which he apparently didn't really so much do, he like shared, he, he got credit for it, but it was really this other guy. Anyway, apart from that, I've watched every single movie the guy's done, and it's not always great, but it's never any less than good. It's always entertaining, it's always well done, there's always fairly well developed characters that you care about. You know, it's it's entertaining, it's exciting, um, it's funny, it, you know, it, it gets you involved and, and it, it just works. He's, he's a good director. Um, so that's really why I went and I, you know, with it being his first film of 12 years, I try not to hype myself up too much uh, for it and I gotta say, I really, really enjoyed it. It, um, it, it has all that you'd expect from a Cameron movie, um, pretty much. It's, it's more of an adventure film than an action film. Um, so, you know, it's, so that's a bit different from what we're used to seeing from him. There's, there's less action scenes as such, which doesn't mean that it isn't exciting. It's almost constantly exciting. Um, the characters, they're, they're fairly well developed, but they could maybe stand a little bit more, especially the villains. They're really not as, you know, you, you hate them, but you don't feel quite as much, you know, you don't, there's, there's not quite enough there to, um, <clears throat> The plot's pretty good, um, and develops nicely. It, um, you know, it, the movie's like two hours and forty minutes long, and it never lost me, not for a second. I was never bored. I, I wouldn't have minded if it was even longer. I just, I enjoyed the crap out of it from start to finish. <clears throat> um, the humor's pretty good. It, um, there's some stuff that doesn't work, but most of it does, and it's never, like, embarrassing when it doesn't. Um, the acting is phenomenal. Uh, Weaver's a lot of fun to watch. Um, I read on IMDb, she kind of said she's basically playing Jim Cameron, and I can kind of see that, and she's just, she's hilarious, and, um, and, and without it being, you know, she's not just purely comic relief. <clears throat> Worthington is spot on. It, um, and anybody who says that you don't have to act because it's CGI, no way. They definitely had to act, and they definitely did. Excellent work on that. Um, the effects are fantastic um just you you can tell that it uh it's i i don't think i've seen as photorealistic effects ever in any um any other movie um um i guess that's about it for the spoiler free part i 
you know, if if you're into adventure, if you like James Cameron, I'd go watch it. Um, even if you just watch it for the effects, I'd still go watch it. It's not new, it's not something you've never seen before, apart from the effects and the design. Some of the design. But it's it's very, very entertaining. It's very exciting. And it can pretty much be enjoyed by people of all ages. Um, you know, if... Um, I, I think that the PG-13 rating fits pretty well. Below that might be a little bit too intense, but anything above that, I'd say anyone can enjoy it. <coughs> you know, if if you're into adventure, if you like James Cameron, I'd go watch it. Um, even if you just watch it for the effects, I'd still go watch it if... Um, you know, it, um, it's not new, it's not something you've never seen before, apart from the effects and the design, some of the design, but it's, it's very, very entertaining, it's very exciting, and it can pretty much be enjoyed by people of all ages, um, you know, if, um, I, I think that the PG-13 rating fits pretty well. Below that might be a little bit too intense, but anything above that I'd say anyone can enjoy it.